Hola, buenos dias. Vamos a hacer algunos tacos de langosta. Let's make some lobster tacos. For our taco filling, I just went ahead and minced up some one of the lobster tails. Uh, some garlic, yellow onions, going to hit it with some Everglades heat and saute the whole thing in some butter. All right, let's get this started. Butter, of course. Hot pan. Start off with our onion and garlic. Okay, our garlic and onions have softened up there. So now we can add the lobster. That's looking good. Looks like everything's cooked through and like fish in general, you don't want to overcook it. Nice lobster chunks there. So we're going to take this off, throw it in a bowl. All right, let's add some oil and we're going to fry up our shells. Let's make some taco shells. Okay, once they start browning around the edges, we're going to flip it over. Then we're going to take it out and just lift it through the center and then the sides will collapse and then that'll give our, uh, make our taco shell. And once it cools off, then it'll stay in that shape, basically. All right, taco shells are ready. Now, since we've got this going, let's make some uh, tortilla chips. Same way. Just throw a few in. Fry them up till they're golden brown. All right, these look ready. I'll take these guys off. Okay, we've got all the components ready. Let's put dinner together. All right, nothing fancy. Put a couple scoops of our beautiful lobster. Ooh, a little too much. There we go. Slice of avocado. That in there. And some cilantro salsa. And that's basically all we're going to do right there. So this is what's for dinner. We've got some nice langostino or lobster tacos. Uh, basically sauteed in garlic, onions, and butter. Added some avocado, some salsa, a little bit of cheddar cheese on top of a bed of uh, nice green spinach. Some classic refried beans. Fresh fried tortilla chips. And I just made a little quick salad with the leftover avocado tomatoes and a little sour cream uh, dressing. So that's what's for dinner. Now tacos are always one of my all-time favorites. I think it's for a lot of, lot of people. Um, my favorite tacos are street tacos. Uh, I've been fortunate that I've traveled the, the mainland of uh, tacos, which is Mexico down through Central America. Uh, there's quite a few different variations depending on what country and north to south where you're at. Uh, some use the the corn tortillas, some use flour tortillas, some are hard shell fried, some are just dipped in oil, uh, some are just on white flour tortillas, and it just all depends where you're at. Uh, my all-time favorite is Tacos de Cabeza, and it's basically, a uh, guy will have a cart, and he'll have a big old kind of like a wok, and in the wok is kind of like a little metal island, 
and then he he uh, barbecues a uh, cow head and just cow or sheep head sticks it right on the top there and then the surrounding is surrounded with oil and as well as all the drippings from the head because it's basically a heated uh, pan and you go up there order three tacos six tacos whatever and then uh, what he does is he takes the tortillas and he dips them in the hot oil puts them on a plate and then uh, shaves off pieces off the head it's just a skull with a bunch of just meat head uh, head meat pieces and just shaves a bunch of meat off of it throw some salsa onto it bam you're all good to go i mean nice creamy meat just perfect but uh anyways let's give these guys a shot So not too crazy with the stuffings. I mean, just the lobster, some salsa, and avocado. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Doing your own taco shells, or even making your own tortilla chips, so important. Nice and oily. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that lobster is still light and buttery. And my other favorite things is just making a batch of just uh, fresh fried uh, chips. Since it's a one pan method, I mean, you just do everything in one pan. It's very quick, very easy, not a lot of cleanup. So it makes a really good, quick dinner. So anyways, hope you guys liked that. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.